What's up everybody? Today we're going to build a bench. One thing I've learned is that the bus life community is all about helping one another. This week I had the opportunity to work on a school bus that I'm going to be actually working on for the next four weeks. So I wanted to show you who I'm working with and show you what we've been doing on that project this week. What's up everybody? So just like the last video, you can see that in this video I built a table. I know I said bench, but table to go along with the benches that I built in the last video. If you're interested, just like last time, I am going to link it into my website so you can get the blueprints and build them yourself if you're interested in building those benches or tables. I would also like to say that in the next video or possibly the one after that, I will be revealing what those benches are actually for and why I am building them. But today's video is not about building benches or tables, of course, just like always. Today I am talking about how I'm going to be on a build project, building a school bus with a friend of mine for about the next four weeks. Let's go check that out. I just arrived at the build location. JT pulled in last night. I could see his bus down there. I just pulled in now. I haven't even gotten this to go say hi yet, so I'm going to run down the hill, go say hi, and check out the bus that we've got to work on for the next few weeks. So this is pretty exciting. All right, so here's the bus. And you haven't seen this guy since Colorado, but this is JT. What's up, uh, man? Not much, man. Like I said, last time that I saw JT, I was back in Colorado like six months ago. So it's been a long time since I've seen him, but I'm super excited to be on this build for the next four weeks and get to kind of hang out, learn from him, get down this bus, and we get to kind of just do these things together. So let's get to it. Let's do it. So here it is, the bus that I'm gonna be working on for the next like four weeks. I'm pretty excited. It's a shuttle bus, fiberglass body. Um, I haven't gotten too many details on it, but I did talk to the owner with JT, so I got a good idea of kind of what we're gonna be doing with it. But it's just kind of exciting to once again be inside a school bus, get the opportunity to work on it. Um, and I just installed this Max fan, so project one of the day is all done. What I found out is that this bus is a 1999 350 chassis shuttle bus, fiberglass body, it's also got a 7.3 power stroke in it, and honestly, from what I've seen and driven in the driveway, I'm kind of liking this thing. I'm not too sure how I feel about fiberglass, because this is the first fiberglass bus I've ever worked on, but I'm kind of liking it. It's, it's got some pretty square lines. Um, it doesn't have the curves like you know my bus does, so it's a little bit easier to frame out, but only time is going to tell. So we got a couple projects out of the way before Rita, the owner of the bus, came home from work. I haven't actually had an opportunity to meet her yet, so it was really good to actually have her home and I could talk to her, hear her plan, see her floor plan, and actually get an idea of what this bus is gonna look like after the next few weeks. Because right now, I'm just kind of installing what I was kind of asked to do. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of see what she's up to because, I mean, this is just a blank canvas and that's the best time in a bus conversion. <laughs> schematic so we've got a real basic electrical schematic here just trying to get the ideas down of where we're gonna be running wires uh, what appliances and 12 volt systems that they want in this bus uh, it seems like it's gonna be a pretty simple in terms of minimalist uh, electrical system because the this bus won't necessarily be full-time it's kind of like long time trip style so they're not really looking for anything too crazy but uh, me and JT are gonna get these wires in and uh, 
yeah, then we can start putting the ceiling in and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, hopefully this thing's gonna start looking different pretty soon. So wiring a 12 volt system for the most part is fairly straightforward, especially for me or JT because we've been doing this for a while, but it just for some reason, even with a schematic, always seems to take way longer than it should and it is always a great feeling when this happens. No. Nope. No. That might be... But you might have to turn them on. Touch them. No. Nope. No. Nope. There. there we go! Ooh. We have light. Touch them. Oh, you gotta touch them? Oh. oh! They are Whoa. yellow, but I like it. It's like don't a bright, warm Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! He has to come in JT, they, they don't work, JT. We don't yeah, know what's going yeah. on. <laughs> Alright, now you come hold. Alright, right. So the lights worked, and it is always a good feeling to see that happen. No matter how well you wire something, and how 100% sure that you did it correctly, it is never settled until those lights turn on and you are just like... <sighs> All right, I guess I did it right, on to the next project. I do wanna say a little bit about the 12 volt lighting because a lot of people ask me about products and 12 volt lighting that I use. The lighting that we used are a Western Marine product. Um, they are dimmable, they have an off on switch for each light individually. They also sell puck lights uh, that are more of a white light and the white light model can also be bought on the same place. I'm gonna link it in the description. Another thing that I really like about these lights is that they're actually flush mount lights, so you don't have to actually route out any type of holes or do anything to the wood. You just simply lay it right on top, drill a small hole for the wires to go through the wood, and you're done. So if anyone's interested, I will link them in the description. Two days are in the books. We've got uh, the bus strapped, the roof is in. Started putting all the puck lights in for interior lighting. And uh, today we're gonna finish up all the wood, so tomorrow, we can uh, get the cabinets in. JT, he's still making coffee. I've already got some. Do you want to tell the people what we're up to today? Eating cereal, drinking coffee. The entire goal of the day is just to eat cereal and drink coffee. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Day two was actually a lot of fun and just as productive. Mornings just always seem to start off a little slow because, I don't know, it's morning. I mean, does anyone really get up and like hit the ground running at like 6 a.m.? If you do, great, let me know. But if not, you're in the same boat as me, so. But since I'm gonna be on this project for the next four weeks, I wanna give you a formal introduction to JT, Tamara, and their son, and kinda give you a little bit about how I met up with them, how I met them, and what they're doing in New Jersey right now. Perfect, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I met JT about, I don't know, half a year ago, but I've known him ever since I've actually moved into a school bus, because JT's been living in his bus, the school life bus, for about three years now, until recently, where he built a shorty roof raise that he can now travel in with a trailer in tow to help people around the country with their own bus builds. So JT is a trained certified welder, fabricator. He used to do a lot of body work and I met him because if you don't know him from Road Roots Upfitters, which is his build company, he actually lives in a school bus called the School of Life Bus, which you can check him out on Instagram and kind of see his travels. He's been living in a bus for over three years and has been helping people convert for I'm pretty sure over two, or at least since I've known him. Now after kind of getting settled down and starting to build in a single location, JT and his family decided that they wanted to start traveling a bit more because they never really got a good opportunity when they first moved into their school bus. So what they decided to do was to take their working business of building school buses, vans, auto body work, and mechanic work on the road and are lining up contracts around the country. So when they got someone in New Jersey who wanted to help on a bus build, I got the call because, well, I'm already in Jersey right now, so it worked out really well. So not only do I get to hang out with a good friend, I get to build with them, and we get to help someone get into a school bus. So if you're interested, I know that JT still has some availability this year, so if anyone literally around the country is looking for help on a school bus, give JT a message because, like I said, he does have some availability left and maybe he could fit you in to help you out on either a week project, a four week project, or even a full build. I know that sometimes it can be really hard to find someone who can help you within building a school bus or a van, and uh, sometimes it's hard for you to get to a shop. So if you're looking for someone to come to you, JT is your guy, and uh, if you're wondering what kind of work he does, I mean, you can go through his platform, you can watch some more of these videos and kind of see the work that we're doing here. But if anyone's interested, just send him a message. Let's get back to the build. 
two inch trim. Yeah, for the window, for the frame, whatever. And then I'll still keep us with, because we're breaking four Yeah, inch so here. you can have the four and it'll still give a little bit of a gap. Be good. All right, it's the end of the week. End of the week, and we're trying to tie up some loose plans before the weekend. Cabinets are starting to go in. We didn't build the cabinets. Uh, another guy that the client, a friend of the family, I guess, is uh, going to be doing all the cabinetry. So we're just doing, you know, electrical plywood sides. JT's getting the back prepped right now, so we can put this piece of plywood up and finish out the whole back area right there. JT, what do you think? It's looking good. Looking good. So three years ago, it is crazy to think that I would ever have an opportunity to be a part of a community like this and know people like JT, who after talking online for years, met in person and are now working on a project together. This is honestly the greatest job I could ever ask for because I get to meet awesome people, not only the clients who are awesome, the builders who are awesome, and just everyone else who just stops by and asks us, what are we doing driving down the street? And it's it's just something that three years ago I could have never imagined uh, to have this type of opportunity to meet this this amazing community and the amount of people that are in it. Rita, our great host, just made some dinner, so I'm just eating some chicken. But it's the end of the week, and uh, I gotta head out for some projects this weekend, but everyone else is gonna be sticking around here. So we will be back next week to do more projects, but uh, just gonna say bye to JT, Rita, Tamara, and all the kids running around the backyard and stuff, but we'll see you later, bus. Till next week. Well, well there it is. The first week of this four week build and uh, you've met JT, you've seen the bus, you've heard a little bit about what I'm up to, and either the next video or the one after that, I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna be revealing, revealing, I'm gonna be revealing a big kind of change and future progression with Navigation Nowhere. So I'm super excited to share that. So do stick around or subscribe if you haven't already to get those updates to find out what I'm gonna be up to. But I just wanna thank you for watching this video. It was great to hang out. It was great to show you the build. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.